Well, hello everybody. Today I'm on the roof again, just trying to uh, get this hole in the roof repaired. And I just want to show you the process I'm going through. First, so, first thing we're going to do is to use uh, the sort of microfiber cloths and uh, some sort of rubbing compound just to clean the area around. And uh, then I've got the uh, the trusty Dremel with a little uh, soft wire wiry sort of brush just to give it a bit of uh, texture, and then uh, we'll see how we go. the uh, the damaged area that's now pretty much prepared to take a small layer of fiberglass over the top of that and it just slightly in I mean, what I will say is luckily there's no um, actual hole right through it's just a hole in the uh, the top gel coat coating through to what feels like a fiberglass back so um, I'm really happy about that. It seems like there's been an air bubble in in that and that's just actually cracked right through. So maybe I've hit something, maybe I haven't, I don't know. Um, but I'm happy that there's no, uh, there's absolutely no water ingress uh, being able to get in there. There's no hole through. So I've sanded it right back and there's no, uh, there's no hole through into the inside. Just a, a wipe over with um, a small amount of acetone just to, to clear that off and I, I suppose what I could do is I could actually repair that just with the gel coat um, but I think I'd, I'd feel better uh, by putting a bit of uh, fiberglass over the top of that as well just to give it a bit more strength and uh, my mind at rest that it is absolutely watertight so here we are we're ready um, prepared with my supplied plastic gloves in well, these came in this uh, glass fiber repair kit that I got from uh, East Coast fiberglass and there's uh, A massive roll of uh, actual fiberglass mat so I'm just gonna tear off what I think will be enough of that to give me um, a good go well it's only going to be probably that much that I'll need um, of that but this will give me a chance to build up a bit into the into the dip as it were and then paint the resin on once I've got that you know um, so the idea is that when you've got a, a dip you use um, a small bit of fiber to go into the dip and then increasingly bigger to build up so that you then get a flat surface so that's the sort of process I'm going to take and um, we'll see how that goes but I need to mix up the uh, resin and uh, get this prepared so we'll be back and you can see how I'm doing in a moment. This little cup of uh, white goodness is the uh, fiberglass resin that we are going to paint onto this bit here so you know, use one of these lovely paint brushes that's uh, supplied with the kit and you paint apparently liberally uh, saturating the whole area you don't want to go I don't think I want to go too far out but just giving it plenty of uh, resin and then 
just getting the bits of fiberglass and popping those in. Let's see why Let's see why they say wear gloves. Um, and then just dabbing this on again to really really saturate the fiberglass and get that worked in to the repair area because I don't want it going too far but they do say on the instructions to absolutely saturate it I want to do the best I can with that and then you know, just popping a bit more of the glass mat on and go in again and apparently in this sort of weather this will all go off in about 20 minutes or well, it has a sort of 20 minute working time um, which is plenty of time really it doesn't sound very long strangely the um, the catalyst for the resin is a chemical that I'm actually quite familiar with it's called uh, methyl ethyl ketone um, or MEK as we used to call it in the printing trade uh, we used to use MEK to clean our printing uh, blankets and uh, all sorts of stuff it would just dissolve ink it, it actually is uh, quite um, quite a vicious substance because they they back in the I think it was back in the late 70s early 80s I think MEK became a banned substance so I think uh, I think we're doing all right with that actually I'm just going to pop another another lump on here what's hard to do I tell you once you get some of that on your gloves it's a real pain because all the glass mat sticks to the gloves and not to the repair now one of the things I think to bear in mind is that you don't need to be um, overly fussed about getting this bit uh, looking great because it's all going to be sanded back and then finished off with uh, the gel coat but I'm just going to pop another chunk of uh, resin over that I've got to say that this feels actually it feels too easy at the moment and maybe it is um, I think that's a bit of a mistake to do that but there you go uh, but there we are so I think that uh, essentially is going to be the fiberglass repair I'll just put another another couple of bits on I just you know I just want it to to actually stand a bit proud of uh, the the sort of line that it should be because I'd rather sort of sand it back than have to go again uh, just to just to make it look right but I think I think this is actually gonna look about right when it's when it's all done um, 
Just building up and building up and building up all the layers. Apparently is the right way to do it. And you know, those of you who have done any fiberglassing yourselves might be able to say whether this is a a good technique, uh, a reasonable technique, or whether I'm getting it completely wrong. Um, from what I've seen of other people doing it on YouTube, it seems this technique of building up layers seems about right. So, you know, I'm I'm sort of happy with that. It is building up nicely. I'm just going to put another one or two bits on. really got, getting a lot of uh, of the resin um, coated across that and it really does I mean I, I, th I think you might not be able to see how how much it's sort of standing up um, but it is actually starting to to bulge out a little bit which I'm, I'm sort of really happy about mind you if you if you sort of punch it in which I think I should be doing. Uh, yeah, you can still see the the little dip in there. So I'm going to put some more in and keep on going until that's really pushed right into that gap and not looking like there's a there's a gap there. So it's just that little dip that we made when we sanded out. So. I think it's I think it's the right thing to do to to sort of push it back in there and then build up with more layers and so on when I mean, it all looks starting to look and feel pretty messy but um, once it's all dried out and when we come back to this probably tomorrow um, we'll see just how messy it is and how good or bad a job that I've done but as I say I've got to say I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with how it's all sort of fitting together and going Yeah. I'm really really happy with that and we'll see how that works I think that's that's it I'm gonna leave it at that and just leave that resin to really soak in and dry and come back to it tomorrow well so um, there we are that's the uh, that's the first bit of that repair done I'm so glad that there was no sort of hole right through so there's been definitely been no water ingress in there so really happy with that but I'm glad that I was able to uh, fix that up and uh, we'll see well we'll come back to this tomorrow and in a future video you'll see how how that's actually worked and whether it's uh, been a good repair or whether it's a bit of an amateur job uh, <laughs> but there you go that's it for this video if you've enjoyed that little bit give us a thumbs up and don't forget if you want to continue to follow our adventures 
consider subscribing and if you don't want to miss any of our content click the bell icon and we'll send you a reminder every time we upload but thanks so much for watching and don't forget to comment below and you can see other pictures that we take throughout the day on our instagram.com account at instagram.com forward slash happy travelers underscore stories i'll see you again next time bye bye for now